Hi, my name is Patricia Solis and I'm the co-founder and director of Youth Mappers. We are a consortium of chapters of young people, students at universities, who are using OpenStreetMap to contribute open data to actual humanitarian and development efforts that are undertaken by our partners or in their own studies. So we have 193 university campuses with these student groups uh, in 46 countries where um, the students are really leading the way to put themselves on the map, to put their communities on the map, and uh, map a better world. As you can imagine with the open data and open street map, it's a platform that is available to everyone and that's really the point. Um, a lot of the data that is needed for fundamental um, issues in many parts of the world is really just not available um, except commercially or maybe um, not in an open way. Maybe the government has those data. Um, but OpenStreetMap makes that available to anyone who can map it. They can also pull it down and use it for studies or um, other kinds of use. So that brings with it a lot of ethical issues and sen the sense of um, who gets put on the map and who puts whom on the map. Um, we like to use this opportunity to, to raise these ethical issues as students are um, trying to make a difference in the world and do good by you know, creating the cartographies for these projects, um, but have them realize that um, there are ethical issues, there's privacy issues, there are issues of accuracy and veracity um, about making sure that the data is good quality data. It's a big responsibility when it's real data, it's not an exercise in the classroom. This motivates them, of course, um, but I think it also is a really good example of being becoming a whole professional and understanding um, quickly, uh, front and center, how the data that we create, the kinds of projects that we use, have a responsibility and we have some accountability for that in our projects. So Youth Mappers has an ethical statement um, that we promote among all, our, all of our chapters. Um, that ethical statement was actually developed by our team of uh, founders as well as um, the first group of uh, Youth Mappers leadership fellows that we selected around the world. Um, so. Um, it's really important, I think, uh, to bring this into this moment of their lives and their careers and how they are helping to map the world um, because it, it, it's really integrated into the work that they're doing. Um, it's very real. Um, they're not making maps for a class project per se. Um, they are really making maps for the real world and real uh, communities are going to be affected by um, the, the decisions that could be made around those maps. You know, this is all made possible um, by OpenStreetMap, and um, OpenStreetMap is a, a much larger community of volunteers, but the Youth Mappers chapters allows our students to um, come together in groups on their own campuses, take the leadership, and take responsibility for the projects that they do but also connect to other people around the world. I think the, win the map is sort of a window to other places around the world. So for example, um, when our students at Texas Tech were mapping um, malaria in Mozambique, we actually reached out, and it was quite difficult, but reached out to try to communicate with the um, local students there and find out what was going on on the ground you know not just doing the, the remote mapping without some sort of connection on the ground um, same things when um, we were mapping for puerto rico after hurricane maria we have our chapter there but they're unable to actually map their own communities because they didn't have electricity they were dealing with the aftermath and so our chapters all around the world that sort of pitched in to to, to trace the buildings onto open street map for use by the American Red Cross, um, we, we made those connections for them. We created videos that could be emailed offline um, instead of connecting in real time. Uh, but just to, to let them know what we were doing, um, that we had solidarity with them and we were hoping that um, the recovery situation was okay. So there's more than just the technology in the map. And I think the Youth Mappers, as a network, as a consortium, is built to really help not only 
learn that technology and learn a new skill, become more valuable for your workforce, do real authentic projects, but also reach out and make that connection to what is going on around the world, what are the thoughts of your peers around the world, what can you learn from them, uh, what can you offer and what can you gain and be very explicit about that. Um, we also have a, um, a promise that we will not map, for example, vulnerable people without having a specific organization that is responsible in charge of that data. So for example, there was some interest in mapping a refugee camp in one of our countries and uh, on, on further vetting we realized that um, the exercise would have been just to put the community on the map and there wasn't an organization behind it that had a plan to use it and take care of that data. So we did not put that project together um, just on the basis of needing to close the loop and have the user um, of the data involved in the production of the task and make sure we have all of that set from the beginning and that we know the actors and that there is a humanitarian use at the end of that and not just mapping for the sake of mapping because um, just putting communities on the map is supposed to be a good thing automatically. So um, that was a lesson for some of our students and so we do have that respect for the personal data. Um, and then some of our chapters, for example, in Pretoria, South Africa, they're working with uh, communities that are, that are in informal settlements and helping them with addressing. Um, and the purpose of that is so that they can have addresses and register to vote or get mail services or get other kinds of benefits um, by being put on the map. But there was many, many consultations with the communities ahead of time before that mapping happened just to make sure that that was indeed what was um, wanted. In fact, the ideas from, from many of these actually come from the kinds of field work and, and outreach that is ongoing. And then uh, the mapping tasks come into being. So um, those are some of the ways that, that we take care of uh, some of the ethical issues. There are obviously a lot more. Uh, we use these projects as opportunities to allow the students to um, explore not just the technology, but the ethics behind being a responsible for cartographer, being a responsible world citizen. And as the geospatial world becomes ever more open and inclusive, uh, we want to make sure that um, that visibility is um, a part of all of our processes. So we, while you can be anonymous to um, map on OpenStreetMap, we do ask our chapters to report to us and give us their OSM username so that we can validate the work that they do. We have a validation team uh, that can go in afterwards and make sure that there's no vandalism to the map, make sure that um, the accuracy is good and so that we follow up on the projects that we do um, and, and kind of can go back and find that work and we know that when it has the youth mappers hashtag or if it's done by a youth mappers chapter that we have had an extra process to make sure that that was done correctly so there's training there's careful project management and then there's validation at the very end and i think that all of those things need to be to be a part of the process and finally um, just taking care of our community as leaders. We have a leadership program that is supported by USAID um, and we get together um, once every year, once with the research group and once with our leadership fellows to, to talk over these issues and really instill a sense of ownership of being a youth mapper, um, taking care of our chapters, taking care of our community and passing along this kinds of knowledge and the ethic that we have as as youth mappers. Um, so uh, I hope that this is informative for those of you who are interested in um, the ethics of open, the ethics of open data, open street map, um, and youth mappers. And we really encourage um, the learning. Uh, we welcome conversations about this and ways that we can always continue to, to take responsibility for the work that we do.